Okay, so good morning. Uh, this is a little bit of uh, the vegetable beds with radishes and carrots and uh, uh, different herbs like coriander, parsley, dill, etc. But what I wanted to show you is the garden because it's been a long time since I filmed last time. As you can see, the Aronia hedge has grown immensely. Uh, and we have beautiful weather, and we have had absolutely beautiful weather for all of May and uh, a lot of April as well. And only one day of rain in May and a little rain uh, yesterday. So it's been really, really dry. It's been very difficult. But uh, the garden looks green and for the first time I have peonies flowering which gives me great joy they look absolutely beautiful uh, the comfrey has been great I've uh, chopped and dropped a lot and uh, I'm making comfrey fertilizer now the elderberry I'm sorry about my shadow here the elderberry has uh, survived the winter and uh, the trees that I planted have all survived in this part of the garden, <coughs> at least almost. I will not give you names at the moment because, to be honest, I cannot even remember all the names. But uh, now it's more a mixture of flowers uh, and trees and bushes than before. But I, I will plant out beans and squash and uh, different herbs to put among the trees and shrubs. I was a little bit late getting started because of some personal things, but uh, things are looking great now. So there are three different apple trees here, two sweet cherries and two plums and uh, they have all survived although we had a freeze increasing cold winter with the minus up to 25 celsius so it was really cold but i'm pleased with the garden and i'm pleased to see the roses blooming for the first time austin roses so they are supposed to flowers for a long long time and there are blueberry bushes cranberry bushes uh, blackcurrant bushes um, all kinds of different the comfrey is really big I'll uh, remove it one of these days well chop and drop it rhubarb some currants this tree suffered because we had very very wet autumn and it was swimming, I mean absolutely swimming in water for a long long time. So I decided to dig it up and try to make a mound to raise it up a little bit. And I tried to dig a little trench to get the water to move away from it. And it has survived. It doesn't look great, but it has survived. So hopefully next year it will be better. Goji berries. Astilbis flowers, blueberries, blackberries. This is an apple tree. I mean, look at that rose. Isn't it beautiful? Peonies, not flowering yet, but next year, hopefully. And here are some raspberry bushes. Uh, uh, actually, a couple of them died. One is yellow and the other is red. So, this is one part of the garden, my beautiful black cat, he used to be brown, so his name is Coco, because he was absolutely chocolate brown, and now he's black, he wants to come out and play. Oh, and here are some ever-bearing strawberries, white ones, so hopefully the birds will take them. Hi Coco! Hi Coco! Oh, oh yeah. Oh he's so beautiful. 
Okay, so this was one part of the garden. Uh, I'll make videos of the other parts later. And the greenhouse, as I said, I started quite late because of some personal things. But uh, I have tomatoes, cucumber, chili, pepper, squash, beans, things growing in there. Most will be put out, but some will stay there. And more will probably come as well. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye for now.